how many languages are not necessary. In my personal opinion, the most interesting thing about language learning is the fact that languages are still taught at school as a kind of subject. Moreover, a significant portion of language learning sites slash blogs slash software still approaches a language as nothing but a set of grammar rules and vocabulary lists. To put this point in a more practical perspective, the assumption is made that talking to a French or a Chinese person is the same as talking to a Brazilian or an Italian. You just need to translate the words they use, put them into the correct grammar format, and you can communicate with everyone with ease. Not only this approach does not help people learn languages, many learners, in fact, develop a false feeling that they are not good at it. If you look at how children are learning their native language, you might also question the assumption that languages can be taught or learned. Languages are interesting not only because they have conjugations. They are also a part of the culture that uses this language. If the person is trying to learn a language with books and vocabulary applications, they are missing the most important part of it, the fact that it is a living language. People communicate in it. They express their emotions in it. These emotions are worth a lot more than just words and grammatically correct sentences. This is what really makes a language fascinating, in my opinion. So, I do believe all human languages have an equal value and therefore are not replaceable. The real problem is that only a few language learners are becoming language users. And this has a lot to do with how the language is taught in schools.